From farm to kitchen, we'll take local all-natural ingredients and create delicious dishes here on Edible Journeys. Hi, I'm your host, Erica Vitrini, and today on Edible Journeys, we're keeping it local, natural, and delicious. Today, I'm coming to you from Madison, Connecticut, where we're about to meet a baker whose mixing bowl is full of ingredients that are both natural and super tasty. She'll be taking us on a trip from farm fresh to full flavor with her very special blackberry swirl cupcakes. Come on, let's meet her. Lindsay, hi, hi I'm yeah, Erica, nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. How are you? I'm good. I hear you have a family party coming up and you've got something very special you're baking. I do. If you want to go outside, we can have a cup of coffee and chat about it. I would love that. This right. way? Yep, right this way. Okay. Okay, so let's talk about these cupcakes. What are we making? Today we are making cupcakes using fresh berries that we are going to pick at a farm right down the street here in Madison. So is that important to you using all natural products? It really is, especially since I have children, buying from these farmers who you know wait all year long to give us this fresh produce. And so the fact that we get to go and use it in these cupcakes today, it just it makes it it's just coming full circle. Speaking of all natural, I love that you're using sun crystals because they're made from pure cane sugar and extract from stevia leaf. And they only are five calories a packet, which I love. And it's the best way to keep it natural when you're baking. This edible journey takes us to Barbary Hill, a family farm since 1909, run by Kingsley and Kelly Goddard. Lindsay's our local baker. We're making cupcakes. And um, she's really all about all natural products. Tell mm -hmm. us why this farm is perfect for us to come shopping at. Well, everything we grow here, um, we grow with no chemicals, no pesticides, no herbicides. It's just all natural. We've really gotten into blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, Cape gooseberries, and right now we have blackberries in season. Does that work, Lindsay? Oh, that will be perfect. Look oh at these. My oh my God. This is, oh, I felt that thorn. Yeah, why? Well, Careful. Oh my gosh. Well, I've got enough oh, here. Oh, I think yeah, with yours you and okay. what Erica has, I think we might be in good uh, shape. Yeah. After picking enough fresh blackberries for the cupcakes, we decided we can't leave without checking out the farm stand. It's so amazing. It's giving me a great so idea. Good. I think we should just make a summer gazpacho too. We can use these beautiful tomatoes, definitely the heirlooms. And this so, is what you're supposed to be doing at a farm, at right? A farm you, you look at what they have and yep. then you decide. We have everything we need from the farm, and we just need to go to the market and pick up eggs, milk, and sun crystals. I like this great, so then we can start baking first thing in the morning. First thing. Sounds good. I'm excited. Look at these berries. Stay tuned, Lindsay's edible journey heads back to the kitchen, transporting this beautiful, all natural produce from the farm to the table. That's the next stop on this simple and sweet adventure an edible journey presented by Sun Crystals All Natural Sweetener.